Hi, this is Kim Constable, CEO and founder of the Work at Home Mums Network. This is your video tutorial on how to create a profitable business from home kit. Now, this is the uh, profitable business from home kit that you got free whenever you signed up to become a free member of the Work at Home Mums Network. If you haven't signed up to become a free member yet, I suggest that you stop the video or press pause, go onto the home screen at workathomemumsnetwork.com and put in your name and email address into the box on the right hand side where it says become a free member today. And then you can download this particular plan that we're going to be working from and you can walk through the um, step by step instructions that I'm going to give you in this tutorial. So hop on over and do that if you haven't already. If however you have already done it and you have what's in front of you on the screen here then we can just start. Uh, now, this is essentially a work at home mums marketing template that we're going to go through today. And the reason why I've called it the create a business, profitable business from home kit is because if you don't know how to market your business and you don't know how to bring in customers for your business, then you're not actually running a business. You are doing a hobby. And the reason why I created the Work at Home Mums Network was to teach mums how to start and run profitable businesses, businesses that generated an income that helped them to contribute to their family and provide a better lives for their families and for their children. So marketing really, I believe, is one of the first steps in doing that. And if you don't have a marketing plan for your business, then really your business is going to struggle to grow and you're not really going to know where your next dollar is coming from. So um, and a marketing plan is really essential and that's what we're going to talk through here today. So a marketing plan is not uh, complicated. This is a very simple marketing plan. Now there is a much more comprehensive marketing plan which actually gives you all of the action points um, that you should be considering in marketing your plan and doing something a little more complex and that's available to buy in our success store. Now if you are a free, if you're a premium member of the Work at Home Mums Network then you get 50% off everything in the success store and um, especially if you become an affiliate of ours uh, so make sure that if you want to have a more comprehensive marketing plan and that interests you that you become a premium member today and get your 50% off um, the marketing and business plans in the success store and then you can watch the video tutorials in the classroom and that'll walk you through the more complicated ones step by step but today we're just going to go through a pretty simple marketing plan so you can have a day, an idea of what it is and why it's important for your business Okay, so first, press releases. Whether you run a service-based business or you run an online company or whatever company you run, it's very important that you get some kind of media coverage. People think that everything that they read, well, not everybody, but a lot of people think that what they read in the newspapers is are stories, newsworthy stories that uh, very eager journalists and reporters have gone out and found and they have interviewed these people and, and written these real success stories and they, they give a certain type of credibility to what they read in the press. Although some of that is true, not all of it is true. Press releases are a very targeted way for you to send your news or send your business or send something that exciting that's happening in your business to the newspapers in your area or even online and for them to print and publish things. It's the reason why this is good for your business is because it sets you up as an expert, it gives your business some authority and it also gives you some credibility and you can say in it as well as featured in blah 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 or as quoted in blah 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 or regular contributor to and uh, people love to see that whenever they are thinking about buying from your business. So it gives you a certain uh, credibility straight off. So what you want to do is you want to write down here how many uh, press releases you would like to be featured in each year and then what the action steps are to achieve these press releases. Uh, thing you would also write down, you know, if you don't know how, how to do a press release, then you would need to write down um, in your action steps, find out how to do a press release. Okay, so publishing articles. Publishing articles is a great way, especially if you have a blog or an online business, uh, it's a great way to uh, create some really good links into your online business, which are great for search engine optimization. And it's also a really good way to become an established um, author, uh, a published author, and again, to lend your business some credibility. One of the most important parts of marketing your business is to create yourself as an authority. So if you can publish an article and say that you're um, a published author, then you can um, get that credibility straight away. So what you want to do here is you want to have a goal of how many articles would you like to publish each year. You can look up online article companies such as 
um, ezinearticles.com and you can also look up your local publications or publications online and you can write the articles and submit them to these uh, article companies and uh, fingers crossed you get published. Next one, media appearances. I bet in your area that the media are looking for people to feature. They're always looking for newsworthy stories and if you have something to share, if you have a special skill or it's a special talent or your business is making waves or it's new or it's innovative or it's doing something different, the media will want to hear about it. They love newsworthy stories. So do not be afraid of contacting them and don't just contact them once. Have a goal down there to contact the media every single month and to follow up and to check up to see did your, uh, your article or your press release or your proposal get through to the right person. You really want to push media appearances. Again, it's all about giving credibility and exposure to your business and getting it out there um, in a free way that to a lot of people um, and getting good exposure for your business. Internet marketing. This is basically everything that you would think it is. I mean, there's obviously Facebook, Twitter, all of the different, Google+, LinkedIn, all of the different areas where you can market your business. And it's really, it would really be a good idea for you to research these different areas and find out what resources there are available. There are groups on Google+, groups on LinkedIn, groups on um, Facebook, all of the different social media platforms have groups of people who you could potentially market your products and services to. So what you want to do is try and find out where these people are, where do they congregate, what are their groups, and you want to try and uh, figure out a way that you can um, post your blog posts, you can connect with these people, and you can really uh, get in there and get more exposure for your business. Another really great one that you may not have thought of is forums. If you want to get onto websites that have discussion boards and forums where your target market would meet and congregate, and ask questions then you can get in there and if you can solve their problems and you can make connections then it's a great way to drive more traffic to your business. There's a hundred and one other things that you could do for internet marketing so you really just need to brainstorm here, have some goals for the next year and then action steps for each goal. Speaking, if you have a fear of public speaking this may cause you to shake in your boots but I promise you public speaking is one of the best ways for you to uh, build relationships with people, build connections with people, and also again establish yourself as an authority in your business. It doesn't have to be to a lot of people. There may be small groups in your area where people come together or book clubs or meetings or different little um, small groups where you can go and offer your services for free um, as a speaker and share um, something that's helpful to them, solve a problem that they have and then also promote your business at the same time. This is a wonderful way of building connections and quite often people will remember you whenever they have met with you face to face. So that's a great one. Think about where you can do some speaking. Joint ventures. Uh, whether you have an online business, an offline business, whatever, joint ventures are a great way to market your business. If you uh, well, I'll give you an example. Years ago, whenever I worked as a portrait artist from home, I contacted a local day nursery that had hundreds of uh, children in their care, and I offered my portrait services. I, I offered to give their members or their, their mothers and, and fathers and parents of their organization a discount on my portraits. So whenever they sent out their monthly invoices, they also sent out a flyer advertising my services and offering a discount. And this was great. I got an awful lot of business from it. So it's a great way of entering into a joint venture. And if you don't have anything that you can give this person in return, I mean, it was good because they were able to offer a discount to their member, to their parents, which was actually good for them. But you can also offer perhaps to do something for the owner of the company that you're entering into a joint venture for. I mean, online joint ventures would be partnering with someone who has a strength in a, an area that you don't. So we're going to be doing this in the Work at Home Mums Network where every um, three to four months we're going to be holding a um, some kind of tele-seminar or webinar with an expert in an area uh, that we don't have expertise in so that we can teach our members a certain skill or something to do with their business that can help them to grow. So joint ventures are really a great way to grow your business. Uh, referrals. Who do you know that knows people? This is a really good tip I got years ago from um, a master marketeer was to write down the names of a uh, hundred people that you know and I'm sure you know more than a hundred people but just a hundred people that you know write down the names of those 100 people 
and then call them and ask for referrals if you have their number. I mean, this may take a little getting used to, and you may be like, oh my God, I don't wanna you know, call this person or I feel silly or whatever, and that's normal in the beginning, but referrals, a great way to call someone and say, such and such referred me to you and to um, get more business. Also, referrals come from your current customers. So if you're already in business and you have current customers, never be afraid to call them and ask for referrals, especially if they're good customers and they enjoy your services. Networking, what networking groups can you attend? There must be some in your area, both online and offline. Where can you get into these people, meet these people, and uh, promote your products and services? A good tip for network for a networking event is you wanna try and make yourself highly visible. So offer to help out, offer to take registration, offer to speak at the event, whatever. You wanna make yourself as visible as possible, otherwise you will get lost in the sea of other people doing exactly what you're doing, but who are too afraid to push themselves forward. So make yourself visible, get your business out there. Direct mail and advertising. This is probably the one that people put on their list first because it's easy. You know, you pay some money, you slap an ad in a paper and you hope for the best. Advertising really comes way, way, way down my list of priorities whenever I'm marketing my business because to be honest, it's something that people can ignore. But if you're out there talking to people, asking for referrals, calling them, getting into joint ventures, it's, you know, and you're hitting your target market, then advertising, um, you really don't need to advertise very much. So try and push advertising further down your list and really think about ways that you can market your business that doesn't utilize it. Uh, sales calls, um, basically I don't do an awful lot of sales calls because I don't need to for my business, but I have done in the past. Sales calls, tip for sales calls. Uh, decide each week how many sales calls you wanna make. This could be one a day, two a day, three a day, whatever. It could be five a week. Schedule time into your week to make those sales calls. Just call them, say, hi, this is what I'm up to. Such and such said you might be interested in you know, this product or service, or I don't know if you would be or wouldn't be or whatever. Just you know, try to build a connection, try to chat to people, try to you know, build a relationship with them and really don't ever expect them to buy from you on the first call. The first call is really just to um, establish a need. Do they have a need for your business? And really just to build a relationship and then get permission to call them back another time. And also never be covert. Like if you're ever making sales calls, you want to phone up and you want to say, hi, my name is Kim and I'm calling from the Work at Home Moms Network. And I was wondering if you would like to become a premium member of the Work at Home Moms Network today. And I'm here to try and convince you as to why this is a really good reason. Sometimes using humor and telling people exactly what you want from them straight off, it really cuts through a lot of the crap, as I always say. And people appreciate honesty, especially in a world where people are very covert whenever they call and people are suspicious of salespeople. So be one of those people that steps up to the plate, tells them exactly what you want straight off and go from there. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions or queries, I hope that you'll write them in the comment section at the bottom of this um, video. And also please feel free to share it on Facebook. And if you haven't already, check out the uh, premium member uh, membership to the Work at Home Mums Network. It's less than $25 a month. You get a 50% off everything in the success store and we have much more complicated or comprehensive marketing and business plans available in the success store if you're serious about growing your business and you really would like a step-by-step -step handheld approach to marketing it and growing it effectively. This is Kim Constable. Thank you very much for listening today. Bye-bye.